श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओम 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 जय जय राम ओम जय जय राम ओम सहनावतु सहनो भुनक्त सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तुमा विषा वह ओ शाति 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 ओं श्री गणेशा नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल करुणाल नमा भगवत्दोकशंक समस्तजनकल्याण निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमानंदमाधव परमानंदमाधव गणाधीशोईश सर्वागुणसा मुंभ आरंभ तो निर्गुणसा 
नमो शारदाचवाच गमूपंथानंदयाराघवाच जय जय रघुवीर समर्थ सो वी आर इन टू द लास्ट सत्संग सेशन ऑफ दिस कैम्प एंड सो फार वी हैव सीन संवादस फ्रॉम एंशियंट स्क्रिप्चर्स वी सॉ फ्रॉम कठोपनिषद वी सॉ फ्रॉम महाभारत टू संवाद वन इज ऑफ कोर्स श्री कृष्ण अर्जुन संवाद ऑफ भगवद गीता एंड यस्टडे वी सॉ यक्ष युधिष्ठिर संवाद कॉल्ड एज यक्ष प्रश्न फ्रॉम महाभारत टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग संवाद इन द इंट्रोडक्टरी सेशन ऑफ Gauriji she had mentioned that generally the samvada happens between two people or three people or sometimes more also but rarely we also see in scriptures that samvada is happening with oneself so today we are going to see one such samvada there is one very beautiful text authored by samartha ramdas swami a great saint from maharashtra 16th century He has written 205 shlokas known as Manache Shlok. So the dialogue between him and his mind, which is actually the most important dialogue that we all should have. <laughs> See, so many years we are living with our mind, but we never had any dialogue with our mind. See, we take care of our body. exercise health doctor all these are for taking care of the body we take care of our intellect also we go to school college everywhere for intellect to grow but seldom we <laughs> pay attention to our mind which is actually very strange that we never ha- never paid attention to it but it is also the most important if you see any saint any mahatma he or she will always tell us to focus on our mind isn't it see gurudev also is teaching in essence was this you control your mind you will control the entire world and that is what even shankaracharya also in prashnottari says kena jagat jitam who has won over the mind yena manaha <laughs> one who has won over the mind has won over the world so this is a very very beautiful dialogue of course all the verses are between uh, the dialogue between him and his mind so we are not going to see all verses but we are going to see few verses as example the beginning few verses we will see so that we will know what it is gurudev swami chinmayanand ji also often used to say that the real guru is our own intellect and real student is our own mind so this guru shishya samvad is not happening somewhere outside but is always happening within us and uh, if we see luckily we have seen the same two texts we see kathopanishad and bhagavad gita in kathopanishad there is one very beautiful metaphor of chariot ratha roopaka kalpana where the chariot here is explained as the the intellect buddhim tu sarathim vidhi manas pragraham evacha and the jiva is the is the master of the chariot atmanam ratinam vidhi is said and if we see here in bhagavad gita it is actually depicted where shri krishna is the sarathi and arjuna the jeeva is the master of the chariot and intellect is guiding and the jeeva is listening isn't it so actually speaking the most important guru shishya samvada which has to happen is between our own intellect and our own mind right so that is what now see we are in such a situation that we don't even know what to tell to our mind <laughs> just as we don't know what to tell to people 
suppose we have to meet somebody and we have some important meeting we prepare in our mind in our mind isn't it that i am going to speak on this 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 point sometimes we write down also we go back and check suppose we have to give a talk also we have to give a presentation also we prepare now suppose i tell you that you need to have a conversation with your own mind what are the points that we must discuss with our mind we don't even know that so the great saints help us to make notes a few points that we must discuss with our own mind okay so in a way it is a samvada between samartha ramdas swami and his mind but actually it is samvada between us our intellect and our mind so the first verse that i uh, chanted in the beginning of the session is the mangala charana shloka of uh, of this beautiful text manate shloka where samartha ramdas swami is prostrating to ganesha saraswati guru and and says that by remembering bhagwan i am starting by remembering bhagwan shri rama who is his ishta devata i am beginning this very second verse he directly goes into the topic and uh, he is speaking to his mind i'll just chant those who know can this is very famous in maharashtra so those many of us may know it by heart so we can chant together and then we will see the meaning मना सज्जना भक्ति पंथे चि जावे तरी श्रीहरी पाजे तो वस्वभाव जनी निंद्यते सर्वोड़ो निद्यावे जनी वंद्यते सर्वभावे करावे मना हे मना ओ माय माइंड सज्जना इज टेलिंग यू आर अ सज्जन मन यू आर अ गुड माइंड you're not that bad you see always we should we should not even if we have to confront somebody you know first we have to give respect and then only that person will pay attention same thing with mind also mind you to first tell you are a, you are a good person mind starts to listen but what is the what is the upadesha now to given to mind bhakti panthe je jave please follow the path of devotion tari shri hari pavije to swabha then alone god will listen then alone god will become pleased then alone god will give what you need to have so oh my mind please follow this path of devotion and anyways for the mind for the emotional personality within us the path prescribed by scriptures is bhakti marg so it is not uh, wrong to do that upadesha is you cannot suddenly say no no why bhakti marg only why not gnana marg why not karma marg no, to the mind bhakti marg is the path to the body you can give another upadesha to intellect you can give another upadesha but to mind bhakti panthe ji jaave jani nindyate sarva sodo ni dave whatever is there which is nindya nindya means which is criticized in the world which is considered as adharma unethical unlawful सोडो नहीं दयावे ऑल दैट वी शुड गिव अप जनी वंद्यते सर्व भावे करावे एंड वॉट एवर इज प्रेज इन द वर्ल्ड वर्शिप्ड इन द वर्ल्ड वी शुड ट्राई ऑल मेथड्स बाय विच वी कैन डू इट सर्व भावे करावे सो नाउ हियर अगेन यू सी वेदर वी वॉक द पाथ ऑफ धर्म और अधर्म इट डिपेंड्स ऑन अवर माइंड our body is an instrument which will only function what the mind is telling body doesn't take decision it is the mind that takes decision and therefore whether dharma or adharma it is decided by mind also unless we follow dharma strictly we cannot progress on spiritual path you cannot say that oh my adhyatmik unnati is happening but i will continue to do adharma that is not possible सदाचार इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टंट सद आचरण धार्मिक आचरण इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टंट देर फोर इट इज सेड हियर दैट वॉट एवर इज गुड फॉलो इट वॉट एवर इज बैड टर्न अवे फ्रॉम इट समटाइम्स दिस काइंड ऑफ वॉट वी कैन से एज जनरल उपदेश इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर अस टू ग्रास्प वेन इट इज सेड फॉलो द पाथ ऑफ डिवोशन डोंट डू वॉट इज रॉन्ग डू वॉट इज राइट lot of questions come to us what do you mean by bhakti pantha 
what do you mean by not doing what is wrong what do you mean by doing what is right so now that is explained in the in the upcoming verses okay so next verse explains what is this bhakti marga okay very famous verse prabhate mani ram chintit java pudhe vai khari ram adhi vadava sadacharah thor sandu nayeto जनी तो चितो मानवी धन्य हो तो ब्यूटिफुल हे ओ माय माइंड प्रभाते एट अर्ली मॉर्निंग मनी इन 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 योर इन इन योर सेल्फ इन माइंड राम चिंती तजावा प्लीज रिमेंबर भगवान प्लीज रिमेंबर भगवान श्री राम द मोमेंट यू गेट अप एंड इफ वी हैव टू रिमेंबर भगवान द मोमेंट वी गेट अप वी हैव टू रिमेंबर भगवान व्हेन वी स्लीप see it is psychological fact that the thought with which we go to sleep the same thought is what we wake up with so if we want to wake up with the thought of lord rama we have to sleep with that thought so the last thought after you finished all your work and you are on the bed and ready to sleep should always remember bhagwan shri rama is because his ishta devata therefore he is telling all of us we may have different ishta devata we can remember that right but that is the first thing we should do remember bhagwan pudhe then thereafter vaikhari rama adhivada then with your speech chant the name of the lord don't just think actually you should chant so take bath etc you finish everything sit and then chant the name of the lord this second line has got another interpretation also pudhe vai kari rama adhi vadava <laughs> whatever you want to speak before that you say ram and then speak means what remember bhagwan and then utter any word and you see this was our culture when we pick up phone we never used to say hello jai shri ram 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 even when we meet people ram ram was the uh, greeting we never used to say hello hi what's up bro nothing like that we used to say we used to say we used to take bhagwan's name why because that is the most important thing <laughs> so pude vai kari whatever you want to say say shri ram first and then begin the speech pude vai kari ram adhi vada sada chara ha thor just because you are doing anything related to bhagwan religious activities doesn't mean that you are allowed to do unethical things no 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 sada charanam धार्मिक लाइफ राइचियस लिविंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थोर सांडू नए तो इट शुड नेवर बी गिवन अप जनी तोची तो मान भी धन्य हो तो सच अ पर्सन अलोन बिकम्स ग्रेट इन द वर्ल्ड हु फॉलोज दिस हु कीप्स भगवान थ्रू आउट द डे इन हिज माइंड एंड सी इन अवर कल्चर दैट इज वॉट इज मेंटेन्ड इफ यू सी वी हैव श्लोकस टू बी चैंटेड एट एवरी Uh, at every moment of our life when we get up we say karagre vasti lakshmi karmadhe saraswati karam mulyat govindam prabhate kar darshanam samudra vasne devi parvatastana mandale vishnu patni namastubhyam pada sparsham kshamaswame oh mother earth i am going to put my foot on you please forgive me then when we are taking bath also we are still remembering isn't it gange che mune che va godavari saraswati though we are doing the municipality water only we are using for bath but we are invoking the, the presence of all the great rivers and we are saying that i am taking bath in all those rivers when we are about to sit for study also we remember god when we are about to eat we remember god when we are about to sleep we remember god when we are going out when we have to go out etc we chant the name of the lord when we enter into any good place we remember bhagwan so in our culture this is a way of life it is not religious or otherwise it is it's not that that is how we are supposed to live because the great ancestors rishis have understood that this is the only way that our mind will remember bhagwan see mind yesterday also we were seeing one example uh, one question was that what is faster than the wind and we said mind is faster than the wind and just because it is faster it is also most what we say unsteady it keeps on moving 
and because of that what happens is it keeps forgetting so we have to keep reminding things to the mind how much ever we might have studied how much our intellect has developed but mind will not remember all those things and therefore what we must keep reminding the mind see in the when we do puja etc no uh, we use copper copper or brass isn't it we don't use steel things plate or spoon etc we don't use steel you know why to remind us that our mind is just like that copper glass or spoon or plate if you see the thing with that copper utensils are that they become corroded they, they become black very quickly if you use them and don't wash them they will become black and if we don't use them at all and just keep still they will become black so every time you are doing puja before that you are supposed to wash it properly and another thing about them is every single time you the wash it properly it will look like new that doesn't happen with steel <laughs> so actually our in our culture every single action that we are doing is to remind our mind of this fact so our mind is also like that we may at one point of time now you are here and adi shankar and eleven great place auspicious environment and therefore you remember and therefore you decide so many things now when i go back i am going to do this i am going to do that i am going to do this every day i am going to get up so nice it was getting up early morning and seeing the sunrise doing exercise it was so good thank you for do, taking this yoga class i am going to continue but what will happen we know what happens when we go home few days we continue then what lethargy laziness comes back why because that is how mind is don't curse the mind don't say that what is this you know i am good for nothing fellow i cannot do it eh. understand that that is how mind works that is how mind works see you understand how the mind works it will be easy for us to tame that mind taming the dragon is easier taming mind is very difficult isn't it so one thing that works for mind is repetition that's why in bhagavad gita also we had seen abhyasa what bhagwan shri krishna had said when arjuna said that my mind is very unsteady and you know chanchalam hi manah krishna the answer was given by bhagwan was what yes agreed but it can be controlled and the way to control it is by abhyasa by practice by doing it again and again by reminding it again and again and again and these verses of manache shloka we are supposed to chant every day that's how we grew up in in our house you know every day morning 20 25 shlokas will be chanted every day the next one then next one then next one that's how we remembered also we never sat with the book saying that prabhate mani rama chintit sava prabhate mani rama we never, we never by hearted it like that we never memorized it like that it used to be every day and then automatically it becomes memorized when it becomes memorized then what happens at any point we need it is available to us easier for the intellect for upadesha for giving upadesha to mind why because it is already available so that is why it is said here now that you please remember bhagwan at all times chant his name and don't leave sadachara don't leave good acharan bhagwan shankaracharya ji also has written one prakarana grantha called sadachara where he is just talking about how we should live not all all the times about spirituality but basic thing <laughs> dharma is first then comes spirituality so that is what it is said now let us go forward now some more instructions to the mind mana vasana dushta kama nayere mana sarvatha pap buddhi na kore मना धर्मता नीति सोड़ू न को हो मना अंतरी सार विचार राहो मना वासना दुष्ट कामा ने रे टू वेज ऑफ लुकिंग एट दिस दिस टू लाइन्स फर्स्ट टू लाइन्स मना वासना दुष्ट दिस दिस वासना दिस टेंडेंसीज आर वेरी बैड कामा ने रे दे आर नॉट ऑफ एनी यूज or you can say mana dushta vasana kama ne the bad vasanas are not of any use 
and therefore give them up but how to how to contact these vasanas vasanas to we don't even know they are in karana sharira ha mana sarvata papa buddhi na kore make sure that you are not entertaining any unethical thoughts is very important if the body has to follow righteousness thoughts have to be righteous because so in bhagavad gita also many times this topic comes he says a person who controls the body indriyas etc but with the mind keeps on thinking bhagwan shri krishna calls him mithyachara sauchate he is a hypocrite why because for the world he is as though you know he is very calm and quiet but inside the mind he is thinking about all the pleasures etc and remember at some point of time these mental thoughts will come out that's why many times you know we get surprised by somebody's action you say are you i know this person for so many years i never thought he will do like this why because so many years all these things were inside the mind now it has come out just as it is true for other people same way it is true for mind i remember some few years back i had asked this question to guruji that you know i i i see you know so great people but they make such mistakes how I, we never expect somebody on that pedestal to do such a mistake guru ji gave one very beautiful answer he said there is nothing called as great person or ungreat person he says it is mind even with the great person it is mind even with all of us it is mind and mind can make mistake at any time one person once went to a mahatma and uh, attended some program and he went and he said i am in search of guru but before i accept you as my guru i want to ask you one question so mahatma said please ask he said have you controlled your mind the mahatma did not reply slowly slowly what happened that person kept coming to satsangs etc and kept going there and then became disciple also of that mahatma and after many many years this mahatma was about to die that time he said call that person so he went by that time he had become a great disciple also so yes he said when you met me first time you had asked me one question you remember the question he said yes i had asked you whether you have controlled your mind mahatma said yes and died why because only at that point you can say that you have controlled your mind any single <laughs> moment we think that we have got grasp over our mind next moment mind will make sure that we we fall on our head 100% it will happen the moment we say i have got it mind will say nothing in kena upanishad also beautiful dialogue between teacher and student the teacher says have you got it you got the knowledge the student says yes i have got it i have got it the teacher says if you think you have got it you have not got it yadi manya se suvedeti nona vedeti vedach tabrhame vapi tom vet brahmano rupam is nothing that you know so the student is shaken what is this goes back and you know does more sadhana and actually gets the experience comes back the teacher asks same question have you got it now he, he, he now he cannot say that he has got it because he has understood that you cannot get it so he gives very interesting reply he says not that i have got it that doesn't mean i have not got it and anybody here who understands what i am saying has got it <laughs> that is the point any single uh, occasion experience where we feel that we have got control over mind the mind will make sure that we understand that it is not true it is not true mind cannot be controlled it's because mind is mind by nature it is fickle by nature and therefore again and again and again we have to remind 
don't think about papa don't even think see sometimes you know we give this reason but i am only thinking i am not doing anything this only thinking is going to cause you know very very grave mistake isn't it dhyayato vishayan pumsa sangasteshu upajay sangat sanjayate kama kamat krodho bijayate क्रोधात भवति सम्मोहा सम्मोहात स्मृति विभ्रम स्मृति भ्रमशात बुद्धिनाश बुद्धिनाशात प्रणश्यति प्रणश्यति विनाश इज द एंड वेर डज इट स्टार्ट ध्यात जस्ट थिंकिंग इवन टू थिंक डोंट एंटरटेन एनी अनएथिकल रॉन्ग थॉट्स ना सर्वथा पाप बुद्धि नको मना धर्मता नीति सोडू नको नेवर वी शुड लिव द पाथ ऑफ नीति पाथ ऑफ धर्म मना अंतरी सार विचार राहो एंड ऑलवेज कीप थिंकिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज गुड व्हाट इज बैड दीज आर द थॉट्स दैट वी शुड एंटरटेन वी कीप ऑन थिंकिंग अबाउट ऑल द अदर थिंग्स नो व्हाट हैपन इन पॉलिटिक्स स्पोर्ट्स मूवीज इकोनॉमिक्स व्हाट एक्चुअली वी मस्ट थिंक अबाउट इज व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन आवर ओन माइंड सो एवरी सिंगल टाइम यू पुट न्यूज ऑन और यू ओपन द न्यूज पेपर बिफोर दैट you have a dialogue with the mind ha huh? mind what is today's news then the mind will tell this person said like this idiot fellow next time i am going to show him and you know how he spoke to us rude and this person doesn't respect us at all this is the conversation these are the news that is most important what happened to the gdp of india not for us are you in that field then okay it is for you i am okay for having information but how much time we have to spend on it how kohli should bat let kohli decide that or his uh, helping people whoever are there let them decide you and me should not waste so much of time in discussing about the world what we have to worry about is state of our mind right so think about it continues further मना पाप संकल्प सोडो निद्यावा मना सत्य संकल्प जीवी धरावा मना कल्पना ते न को विषयांची विकारे घडे हो जनी सर्व चीची मना पाप संकल्प सोडो अगेन एंड अगेन ही इज रिमाइंडिंग सी यू मे से दैट इट इज रिपीटिशन दुरुक्ती दोष बट इन in adhyatma shastra it is not dosha why because that is the only way mind works mind can be trained mana papa sankalpa sodun deva any sankalpa sankalpa means thought of any new beginning that is called as sankalpa that i want to do this i want to do this i am thinking of this that sankalpa should never be of a wrong thing mana papa sankalpa sodun deva you should give up this papa sankalpa then what i should have satya sankalpa jeevi dhara सत्य संकल्प हियर मीन्स धर्म संकल्प संकल्प विच इज अबाउट द सत्य विच इज अबाउट द ट्रूथ विच इज अबाउट द राइचियसनेस दैट इज वॉट वी मस्ट हैव वी मस्ट स्टार्ट मना कल्पना ते नको विषयांची विषयांची कल्पना नको वी शुड नेवर ओ माय माइंड डोंट थिंक टू मच अबाउट द वर्ल्ड यू ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड प्लेजर्स सी दिज दिज sales and marketing people no they have rightly understood how our mind works and that is how they sell things to us suppose they want to sell biscuit okay so they want to sell biscuit now they know that the biscuit is not that attractive so what they do is they use ball, movie stars rithik roshan no you 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 may not like the biscuit but you like rithik roshan so then what happens then the mind looks at poster every day when we are going on the road we know that big poster is put i am i am i am not purchasing anything but just just seeing then slowly slowly what happens sang attachment then we start looking at what he is holding in his hand then we start eating that why because rithik roshan is advertising see bike they want to sell they will use actors soap they want to sell they will use actresses isn't it 
the fact of the matter is that actress is never using that soap <laughs> isn't it she did not become that beautiful because of that soap but we feel that you know see that actress is also using that same soap so if i use i will also look like that that's not true but they have understood our mind in the mind what happen vishaya the thought of the object comes when there is something attractive shankaracharya has explained in vivek chodamani so beautifully he says vishaya is even worse than visha visham nihanti bhoktaram poison kills you when you consume it or when it goes inside your body he says vishaya kills you just by looking you look at vishaya vishaya has caught your attention and you are killed today or tomorrow it is only matter of time and that's what they do now what in, in nowadays the social media etc is most risky thing nowadays everything is online shopping no so you, you just search for something in that shopping app even if you go to your facebook it will show same videos suppose i have searched for i want to purchase a suitcase you go on your facebook the ads will be all of suitcase i am not joking they are tracking it they know what are you searching for what are you looking for that is what they will show youtube you watch one video immediately 10 videos related to that will be shown and then we we go into that loop and we don't understand how much time we have wasted see these marketing people they have see it is like you know in uh, nowadays also they must be using to catch this rat etc they used to put that that uh, make one instrument you remember trap was there where they will put some tasty food bread or something ah uh, anything which 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 is attractive for rat they will put so the rat goes to eat there and thuk, he will be caught inside isn't it in the trap then he can't come out it's so exactly like this all the sales and marketing people have kept this trap and inside all the objects which we are attracted towards are there you go inside you are trapped so mana kalpana te nako vishayanchi my mind please don't think about these objects vikare ghade ho jani sarvachi chi if you do like this then the entire world will laugh at you what is this world you yourself will laugh at yourself later on saying that what idiot fellow got caught in this first you will suffer and then later on after coming out of it you will laugh hey, what is this where did i come <laughs> what did i do therefore be careful continues what are the qualities we must avoid or what are the enemies we must defeat nako re mana krodha khedakari नको रे मना का मना ना विकारी नको रे मदा सर्वदा अंगीकारू नको रे मना मत्सरू दम भारू सो ब्यूटिफुल समर्थ रामदास स्वामी वॉज अ वेरी हार्ड कोर अद्वैत वेदांत एंड देर फोर यू विल सी इन ईच एंड एवरी थिंग हाउ ब्यूटिफुली इज ब्रॉड दैट पॉइंट येस्टरडे ऑल्सो इन यक्ष प्रश्न देर वॉज वन क्वेश्चन वॉट ब्रिंग्स सॉरो and the answer was anger brings sorrow you remember same here you see nakore mana krodha khedakari you should never have anger why because it brings kheda kheda means dukha nakore mana kama desires you should not entertain oh my mind why nana avikari because that is what is making my mind restless why does the mind go out because we have so many desires नको रे मदा सर्वदा अंगीकार नेवर नेवर एक्सेप्ट और हग मद मद मीन्स प्राइड डोंट 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 सपोर्ट द प्राइड प्राइड मीन्स वॉट वेर आई फील दैट आई एम यू नो हू आई एम आई एम अ ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटी सो आई स्टार्ट पुटिंग वॉट प्रिफिक्स बिफोर मै नेम श्री 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 टेन थाउजेंड एंड एट we nobody is calling me so what to do that i put for myself great person who 
ಮೀ ನಕೋರೆ ಮದ ಸರ್ವದ ಅಂಗೀಕಾರು ನಕೋರೆ ಮನ ಮತ್ಸರು ದಂಬಬಾರು ಜೆಲಸಿ ಆನದರ್ ಎನಿಮಿ ದಂಬಬಾರು ಇಟ್ it is a very dangerous thing why because then you start behaving in a hypocrite way why because inside your mind there is jealousy but on your speech on your lips what is there <laughs> i love you so much you are a idiot and you know i love you so much mind has got so many negativities but don't do that damba then it will be hypocrite hypocrisy will be there in our life now if you see krodha kama ಮದ ಮಾತ್ಸರ್ಯ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಷಡ್ರಿಪುಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಮ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಲೋಭ ಮೋಹ ಮದ ಮಾತ್ಸರ್ಯ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ರೇಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿನ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ಎನಿಮೀಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎನಿಮಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎನಿಮಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನಿಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎನಿಮಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ is a friend right so give up these qualities swami purushottamananji used to always say that there are two uh, fox fox jackal one of it inside our inside us one is a good fox and one is a bad fox <laughs> and at every moment in every experience there is a fight between good fox and bad fox who will win whomever you feed will win whom are you feeding good fox in you or bad fox in you what are you taking in good thoughts or bad thoughts see good emotions or bad emotions good qualities or bad qualities what we take that is how we are going to the output is directly proportionate with input isn't it so what we take inside very very important and you see with with this whatsapp and facebook and all these things it has become very very difficult to manage this why because we don't have control over what we are taking inside most of the things that come as forward you know are totally useless i am telling you there was a time when we used to get up and remember god prabhate mani rama chintita da nowadays first thing we do is whatsapp before you get up from the bed before you even wash your face whatsapp as though you are some prime minister of india and somebody is going to message you some important things that way you are checking and what is there in all the groups good morning i, 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 I am telling you even the so called good thoughts are not actually good in the name of sami vivekananda they will say anything sami vivekananda's conversation with ramakrishna paramahamsa and if you read the questions you know that vivekananda ji will never ask such stupid questions <laughs> what kind of dialogue they must have had not this half of the things which come there are not true and remaining half are not required why are we wasting our time in all these things see what we take in that is what is going to come out tv is called as idiot box you know tv is called as idiot box you know why because it makes you idiot not because it is idiot you keep on watching news 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 one something they catch and then they keep on you know aaj aisa hua hua aaj aisa aaj hua aisa same thing they are telling again and again and we also and tomorrow we understand all that was wrong i had one friend in in uh, this newspaper so i always used to get this question i don't know why i get such questions but i always used to get this question that in the in the newspaper from top to bottom all the columns are completely filled have you noticed and there is no change of font also not that only small information is there therefore i'll put bigger font so that no exactly same font size but everything is filled so i asked him say suppose one day there is nothing that thing is empty how do you feel it because you can't just do advertisement also because that is also paid advertisement and that is paid by 4 inches by 7 inches it is paid by that dimension how do you do 
He says very simple. One murder happened. Body not yet found. Police are searching. Murder did not happen. They are feeling it. Really? And no, no, no. So even if somebody catches, how will you tell? Because body is not found. My own. Police, <laughs> police are searching. How do you know murder happened if body is not found? But they will put, and we will also read all newspapers, all sites, then Lok Satta, whatever is not sufficient, then you get another newspaper, then the third also, then English also should be there, Times of India, this. See, I am not against all this newspaper or actors or news channel, nothing. But I am saying we have to, we have to pay attention to what we are taking inside. Early morning, do you need to take all this garbage inside you? And you tell me, what, what news do we see also? Murder, accident, rape. This is what is there. Then, see, it is not their mistake. We are buying, we are watching, therefore they are doing. Never criticize the people who are doing it. Why there are only bad movies? Because you like bad movies. Very simple demand and supply rule, economics. Very simple. There is demand, therefore there is supply. You stop the demand, supply has to stop. Why are they making such things? Because we are watching it. You start changing, they will also start changing the way they are doing. Ah, every single day. Then with that COVID count, our blood pressure goes up and down. Oh, okay, by the way, how are they getting this count? No idea. No authenticity. There was a time when all this, this patrakarita, this, this journalism used to be considered as one of the top professions. Why? Because it was, it involved so much of research. Now, flashy. How can you sell? I am not against it. Please understand. I am saying, why should we take all these things in our mind and corrupt our mind? We keep on reading all these things. This is what is going to increase in us. Krodha. Kama, Damba, Mother, Matsarya, this is what is going to increase in us. So just as we are very careful about how many calories we are taking in, nowadays that has happened. So we should also be careful about what kind of garbage we are taking in, through eyes, through ears, through everything. Very, very important we have to pay attention. Why? Because what we take in is what we are feeding. And that is what will win in our mind. See, all the time we do Jai Jai Kara, no? Chiavara Ramachandra ki Jai, Sadhgurunath Maharaj ki Jai. Why do we do Jai Jai Kara? Jai means what? May they be victorious. Or you don't need to say may Sri Rama be victorious. Sri Rama is anyways going to be victorious. That Jai Jai Kara is to remind us that may they be victorious in our mind. Why? Because in our mind there is Rama and Ravan. And in our mind, Sri Rama will not win. If we are feeding Ravana, Ravana will win. Sri Rama Ramachandra Kijay means, may in our mind, Sri Rama be victorious. May good thoughts win over our bad thoughts, negativities. Right? So that is what is said here. What we feed, good fox or bad fox, that is what is going to win. So please feed good fox. Mind is fox. Good or bad, okay? But it's up to us whom we are feeding, right? For that, what we have to do next verse? Mana shreshta dharishta jeevi dharave Mana bolane nicha sosita zave Svaye sarvada namravache vadave Mana sarvalokan sireni vavave Very practical advice. How to develop this? How to make sure that negativities are not entering our mind. Mana shreshta dharishta jeevi dharave. First thing that you have to do is, you need to have dhriti. Yesterday's question. Kena dvitiyavan bhavati, dhritya dvitiyavan bhavati. By what mind, uh, by what a person doubles one's skills, one's capacity by dhriti. Don't give up on mind. Mind may not win all the time, but keep supporting it and one day it will win. Mana bolane nicha sosita dhave. If somebody else is saying harsh words, disrespecting you, accept it. Sosita dhave. Sahan. That is what is required. Titiksha. 
फॉरबिअरन्स अँड फॉरगिवनेस ऑल्सो स्वये सर्वदा नम्र वाचे वदावे हा बट यू विथ युअर माउथ विथ युअर स्पीच शुड ऑलवेज स्पीक सॉफ्ट सी मेनी टाइम्स वी क्रिटिसाइज समथिंग अँड ऑफन वी फॉलो द सेम थिंग when you are a daughter in law you criticize mother in law and then you say also i this i will never be such kind of mother in law but many times you become worse <laughs> for your daughter in law you do the same things which they did which they did not which you did not like because your sister uh, your mother in law was doing now you are doing the same thing with others my father was very strict with me you become even more strict with your children so many times what happens is what we hate we often do the same mistake we don't like somebody else talking harsh to us but we talk harshly to other people how how is this logic so just as you forbear whatever any any wrong thing is said by anybody or harsh thing you make sure that you are not saying any harsh thing to anybody स्वय सर्वदा नम्र वाचे वदा दॅट्स वाय इट इज सेड सत्यम वद प्रियम वद सत्यम ब्रूयात प्रियम ब्रूयात न ब्रूयात सत्यम अप्रियम प्रियम च न अनृतम ब्रूयात महाभारत ओनली दॅट यू शुड स्पीक ट्रुथ बट यू शुड स्पीक दॅट ट्रुथ नाईसली देर इज अ वे टू से द ट्रुथ यू आर पथेटिक यू डोंट हॅव टू से दॅट uh veji how did i speak today worst in my whole life i have never seen anybody say such a wrong thing why see it was nice but there is a there is a scope of improvement see i am telling the truth only i am not saying to say tell a lie that oh you said so beautiful no i am not telling you to do that but there is a way to tell the truth nowadays you know in the in the just because we want to say that i always speak truth we start speaking rude and we say i am very straight forward but straight forwardness also has got a bend it doesn't have to be harsh arjuna was straight forward but was never harsh so how we speak what we speak of course satya is important but how are we speaking and we have all lived our life we know we want to succeed in any field we want to work with any group the only secret is how we speak isn't it uh, your acts your efficiency your skill all that is secondary first is how you speak if you are soft spoken person everybody will like to work with you otherwise they will say no no baba he is very scholar but i don't want why because the speech is like that all the time some of us even even are proud of that i can vouch for it why because i am from the city which is known for, known for speaking harsh you go to maharashtra and <laughs> that is what we are known for pune people why nothing we will say straight in minimum words maximum insult this is our expertise minimum words maximum insult don't think i am criticizing because i i, I am <laughs> from that city <laughs> but that is what and it is funny that we are proud of these things we say you know i am from there i say anything on face are but on face also you can say it nicely you don't have to be rude sarvada namra vache vada me avar speech also be you, you see sometimes you know i i feel that we are not listening enough nice things to speak nice things because in any bhasha any language works like that only if we listen something good that same kind of thing i i remember whenever i watch these old movies no like nyaneshwar maharaj movie or tukaram maharaj the, the old ones which are in black and white etc their dialogues are so soft oh just by listening even if you don't understand the dialogues doesn't matter just by listening to it will create softness in you so sometimes you should do that rather than listening to some 
you know news anchors etc or you know nowadays social media influencers etc go back and read uh, listen to this soft soft language whichever marathi hindi english whichever you are listening to that is very very important you if somebody else says harsh words you just forbear it don't give it back but while speaking to other people also be soft spoken mana sarva lokan sireni va every all people that come to uh, come in contact with us we must we must what we say um, pacify them is not the correct word but we must please them not please them in the way that by spe- by telling lies no no means everybody should feel like i want to go here see that is one experience that i am sure you all have and your family members have got that when they come to ashram and when they speak to swamins and mahatmas etc when they meet they say this they, they talk to us so nicely i never thought that you know i will feel so homely in 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 ashram why because that is how you are supposed to speak that is what is missing therefore you come back to ashram to listen to some nice things now imagine inside the ashram you start talking rudely and rashly how it will be don't do like that every single person who comes in contact with us should feel like talking to us more hmm? so <laughs> that is what our mind should do hmm? i think we can you know, stop here because there are so many other points which we can discuss but time also we have to keep in mind okay so this is just an example you can always go and study this beautiful text i think uh, the translations are available of manache shlok even in sanskrit translation is there old translation i am not telling in recent one even old translation is there of this manache shlok in sanskrit hindi english and in all other regional languages also please see they are very very beautiful text and it is so practical also directly we can we can practice not just philosophy but the practical side of it okay so with that we will conclude uh, today's satsang and this series of satsangs also and uh, thank you all for coming and listening and thank you to gauri ji also for giving this chance so that i could reflect on this different different topics thank you all aryo we'll conclude om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha हरि ओम